Young and I'm the Digital Content Specialist with the Office of Workforce Development, WorkSource Georgia, and today I'd like to kind of talk about the differences between Microsoft Forms and Cognito Forms um, and why you should use one over the other depending on what kind of form you like to create. With Microsoft Forms, um, I would say it's a more simplistic type of form. There's different types of options in the fields that you can include in the form, obviously, um, but you are limited as far as like how advanced those fields can get. In Microsoft Forms, you have multiple choice options. You can have text options, um, ratings, dates, rankings, a Likert scale, um, and different sections on how to organize each of those fields. But that's kind of the extent of what you can really do in Microsoft Forms. There's really no like conditional logic you can use. So it is very limited as far as how advanced you can get with these forms. So again, if you are looking for something very simple, very straightforward, you're looking to collect text, um, whether that's short or long answers and ratings, um, potentially getting people's feedback on a date to conduct a future training, for example, very simple questions, then Microsoft Forms is definitely your go-to. On the other hand, if you wanna be really advanced in your form creating and you do wanna use things like conditional logic, you might wanna consider a tool like Cognito Forms. This is actually what we use for our communications request form. I would consider this a more advanced form builder than Microsoft Forms. Um, and what do I mean by conditional logic? Um, in our communications request form, I have this option, this question here, that has about 20 options. Um, like, what would you like to request assistance with? As soon as someone selects an option here at the top, another form essentially will appear at the bottom. And I like that because it's, it's keeping everything on one page. It's not something that they have to go out to another link and fill out. It's all one form. Um, again, if they pick another option, the video services portion will go away and then another form will be revealed. That's not a feature that is available in Microsoft Forms, which is why I tend to use Cognito Forms if I know it's going to be a very extensive form that I'm going to be needing a lot of information from. Beyond that, um, each type of field you have in Cognito you just have a lot more options as far as like what kind of fields you want to include in your form. Options that are simply just not available in Microsoft Forms. For example, if I want to make this field here a choice field, um, I have options like drop down, radio buttons, or check boxes. I think with Microsoft Forms, um, you can give a choice, but it's just multiple choice. Um, that's kind of like the limiting factor with Microsoft Forms when it comes to choices. So with Cognito, you can really kind of fine tune um, the different field options available to you. Again, with the form logic, um, you can decide to show certain fields um, when certain options are selected. So again, if someone is visiting my form and they select an option that's, for example, asking general questions, um, it's only going to show them options related to that selection. So it's not going to bombard them with other categories. So again, this is a very like advanced tool. You can get you can imagine how involved it can get to kind of link everything. Um, but if you are looking for something that's a little more advanced, I would recommend Cognito over Microsoft Forms. Um, with both options, obviously you can keep track of responses. With Microsoft Forms, you do have to download that Excel spreadsheet in order to even view the options. With Cognito, you can kind of get a preview of what the submissions look like at a glance. Um, but you can also export all of those entries as an Excel spreadsheet as well. And, re and review your data that way. So there's definitely some similarities among the two, but in general, if you are looking for a simple form, I would recommend Microsoft Forms. If you are looking for something a little more advanced that deals with conditional logic, then I would recommend looking into Cognito Forms. If you are still wondering which of the two is best to use given your particular situation, feel free to email me and I'm happy to provide my opinion. 
I do have two videos available in our tutorial playlist where I go into detail on the features available in Microsoft Forms, more in depth, and also the features available in Cognito Forms if you'd like to explore that as well. This was just a video overview to explain the major differences between both of these tools. So I hope this video was helpful in allowing you to decide which kind of platform to use. But if you have any questions, feel free to email me at ayoung at tcsg.edu. Thanks for watching.